Chilly guy here. Just when you thought I was gone, I'm not. I know it's been a long time, but there's only so much. There's only so much you can say about chilies before it's like, and here's an update, and here's an update, and here's an update. Um, I'm doing this now because oh, attack of the aphids again. I mean, last year we didn't have them, but it's been really humid. Um, now normally I've been using. I mean, they've got this sort of bug. Let me see if you can see that bug clear stuff, which is apparently for for plants like tomatoes and chilies and stuff. But I've I've been mixing it with sort of like a soapy water solution. It just it just seems to make the leaves go a bit funny. It does kill the aphids, but then they come back. This one absolutely covered in them. I've also got like this quite a bit of an edema problem on them, but I don't know if you can see that. I've got this new tactic. It's called drown them. Drown them, drown them, drown them. I've also been using a hose pipe, but can you drown aphids? Fill up a, fill up a sink and hold it under water. I reckon they're going to be like spiders, where um, so if you if you put a spider in water and you try and try and drown it, it actually um, it won't drown because they've got like a special coating on them, I don't know, I don't, I don't know the science of a spider, but as far as I'm aware, you have to mix it with soap. I haven't done that with this, because soap seems to make the leaves go a bit funny. I did it on, on the one outside, and now the bottoms are going, like, brown. In fact, I might show you that in a minute. Um, but, yeah. I'm just trying to drown these aphids. Got some peppers on these. These are, I'm not sure what these are. They were bought from a store. I bit into one earlier to see if it was sweet. It was not sweet. It burnt my mouth a fair bit. Anyway, that should do. Just mess up me for sink, why don't I? Man? That's what I'm going to get. Talk off and mess up the sink. Oh yeah, you can definitely... I don't know if you can... Let me zoom. It's quite difficult to see, but... These green things are the aphids. Oh my word, there's loads! Yeah, they've definitely come off, so that's quite a good tactic. There's a bunch of them. There. <laughs> I might pop outside and show you what the leaves are doing with the spray. I don't know if it is the spray that's causing it or not. See you in a minute. Which, um, well, it got really, really hot on one of the, one of the days. It's got loads of chilies on it, but the heat, like, they, they, in, they all curled up, the leaves. <laughs> aphids on my hands. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> sneaky, sneaky little sods. They're on my hands. Trying to escape. Anyway, um, yeah, it got really hot and the leaves sort of like dried up and then they died and it's, I think it may have killed the plant actually. Anyway, this is the one that I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know if you can be able to see it on the camera or not. I might pop one of the leaves off because there's loads of them. It's like sort of, see that brownie? That's what's happening after I sprayed it down. There's another one there. Don't know what that is. Um, they've, it's had the perfect level of nutrients in there, so it can't be bad. I don't think it is. I've flushed it. I'm going to flush it anyway, to just in case it is a nutrient thing, like there's too much or too little, so I'll flush it for a little bit. I've sprayed it all down with the hose. But yeah, hopefully these aphids will go away. Seems to be a bit of a cat and mouse at the moment. Haven't tried Lady Ladybird. Um, t tactic yet because I don't know, I just don't know at the moment, it might be too late in the year to even bother thinking about it but yeah, I might do another video just check out all the other ones as well if you've got any questions, because it may be in one of the other videos, so have a look through them until whenever next time is